Despite living and training in Manchester, Tony still travels home at weekends, this time for a very different type of activity. Well, uh, I went to Beamish to have a race, a running race with a tram. <laughs> it's, uh, it's to help promote the, uh, the Easter week for, for school kids, the, uh, just to give them something to do. There's a lot of activities happening in Durham and around Durham just so uh, they don't sit in and play on the computer. I think it's a, it's a good idea whoever's come up with it. Uh, I think it might be the, Dur the Durham Council that come up with this idea to try and help keep the kids, like, like I say, off the streets and or off, the, or off the computers and give them activity to do. Like this bike ride and all that, what they can do. But tomorrow, uh, I, they've got me racing a tram just to help and try and, help and, try and promote the thing. So I'm confident, like, it's going to be a hard race, something I've not done before, but I'm feeling confident. And I don't like losing, so hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll win. It's like garlic, Tone. Tone, like garlic. A bit of Lloyd Grossman's uh, Thai green, uh, green Thai curry, and a bit of rice, Uncle Ben's. I normally make this stuff myself, because I make better than Lloyd Grossman, but I haven't had time, it's me and friends and that's come around, so just quickly to try and get it in and the rice and all and all me boil all me selling and, and get to do it properly but I'm like I said I'm with pan. So it's got a it's got to do this mate. It's not the health it's not the healthiest food I make like but uh, I'm sure it'll be really nice. Well one you've got to get down to so. I've got uh, about just about three weeks and six days and I think I've got uh, ten pound. So I think I think I'll be alright. But I will. But I'll definitely have a curry kids there. So he'll make sure I'm alright. So this is it, Tony. Yeah, this is the. What are you going to call it? Looks like diarrhea, but I'm not going to call it that. I'm going to call it Thai green uh, curry with chicken and onions and garlic. Just to call it the Tony Jeffrey special. But I hope it tastes better than it looks because it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Someone's getting the short straw with that one. It's oh, not me. that looks grim, doesn't it? No, it's not you, Andy. I think I see how it's going to get that one. Yes. Now, like we said, it's changed your life. Do you, do you struggle to find time for your closest friends and family? I do because I'm living in Manchester five days a week. It's, you know, home at weekends. It's tough to, to get around and see everyone. Uh, I've not, I've not really got the time. And I think sometimes some people might think it's like friends who I used to see more, more often. Like now I've turned professional. Uh, the reason is because I'm away all the time, and I, that's hard to see anyone. Uh, see mum and dad. It's hard to see Sarah. It's hard to see. See, see all my mates, but I, I try to see them when I can on the weekends. But it's normally every weekend I'm, I'm doing something, whether it's a charity event or or, or whatever, racing a tram or it can be anything. I, I'm doing stuff nearly all the weekends, so it's tough to see them. I mean, me, me and grand, or I, I never see them. My grand and grandma, it's it's very hard, very hard to see see that see their family. So when I'm home, I'm normally with Sarah or with Tone, Tyler. Uh, and I try to see my mum and dad as, as often as possible as well, but uh, I'm speaking to nearly all of them every, every day on the phone, which makes it a little bit easier. So, Jeff, off to race the tram today? Off to race the tram, I. Eh? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough race, it's something I've never done before, but uh, it's for a good cause, so I'm still going to try and win, though. I don't, don't like coming second. So you, do, you do a lot of charity work, is that? Is that something you're uh, doing? Is that why do you do that? Like, do you? Uh, just I don't know. I'm, my dad, my manager, he seems to rope us into it. He says, "Oh, you, you want to do this?" But it, it's good. It's uh, good. It gets us about, and if I can use me uh, being in the spotlight to help anyone, I'll, I'll do it. You know, it's, uh, so I, I suppose that, that's it really. So I want to pick me mate up now, Andrew, Andrew Tyler, and me. Uh, Nephew Leon, them's gonna come and they're gonna 
cheer us on and give us a bit of moral support trying to beat this tram through Beamish. Be Beamish Museum's a, a, like a, from the olden days museum and uh, it's like an out, outdoor museum. It's, I've not been since I was about 10 year old, so I'm like 24 now, so it's, uh, it's going to be good to go back there. So Jeff, you can pick up some t-shirts, yeah? T-shirts with the uh, sponsor's logo on, because I think there's going to be a few press here at this, uh, at this Beamish, so I'm going to get these to advertise the sponsor. Some of the lads are uh, brown paper bags over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, spot on. How many is here? There's two t-shirts and two hoods to Six caps. So. Uh, we didn't know what writing to put. What, what are you... I don't know. Uh, well, we put weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's a thing that it's missing out, but... Aye, I'm spot on that. I'll put these on now. Do you think I will be able to like, jump on the tram and go yeah. right? <laughs> yes, but it's points and curves, so it's not like a straight track, because yeah. it was mine, you wouldn't know. <laughs> You'll have knee chance. Oh. <laughs> so well, that's good, that. What Stuart's going to do is just try and pace this. So yeah. Don't run off and leave him so that you leave him standing, but on the other hand, he won't, run, he won't drive off and it's leave you standing. Yeah. Are, you, are you ready for this? No, I've done this before. <laughs> when it's a fun run, you don't like to overtake the kids, you know. <laughs> this is not a fun one. I don't, I don't like coming I don't second. I don't, I don't like losing. <laughs> it's too I'm confident. <laughs> Just see me pulling him down there. I want to beat it. I want to give it, a, give it the eyeball in a minute. Stop. Feeling confident, yeah, uh, looking confident. Feeling confident, uh, looking confident. Uh, just looking forward to it now. Going to uh, go for it. They, they, try, they were trying, telling us not to take off at a fast pace, but I'm going to. I'm not pulling any punches with this one, I'm just going to let rip. Your granddad's giving you some good advice. Are you going to start fast? No, I mean, That's granddad says start fast, uh, keep at a good pace on the hill. That's where it slows down, so keep the good pace on the hill. And uh, he says that's where you'll take off and that, that's where you'll win it. So on, you're on, on in the Stone 1 this morning, the tram's weighed in at two tonnes. So it's, <laughs> it's got a weight advantage like, but uh, I think that'll work in my favour because I'm, uh, I'm feeling fit and I'm feeling strong. And I'm, ready, right, I'm ready to go. Good Cheers. Running commentary, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I think you went faster there. I think you cheated and tried to catch him. <laughs> God. <laughs> 